Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the topic RA limitations. The first limitation is RA stores only homogeneous elements. For example, if you have declared the RA int A of 10, if you have declared in the sense all 10 elements will be of integer data type only. We cannot be able to store 5 elements integer data type, 5 element floating point data type in the sense that is not possible. All the 10 elements will be of integer data type only. If you have declared float A of 10 in the sense, all the 10 elements will be of floating point data type only. Okay. So, array stores only homogeneous elements, heterogeneous elements is not possible in arrays. Okay. That is first limitation. Next, array stores elements in sequential memory location only. Why storing the sequential memory location is a limitation? Here, suppose if you are declaring an array int a of 10 in the sense, automatically memory will be allocated for 10 elements. Okay. Starting from 0 to n minus 1 and array name is A. Okay. So, this is the, if you have declared the array in the sense, this will only will happen. It will check the memory wherever continuous 10 blocks of memory is free. That is integer in the sense 2 bytes. Wherever continuous 20 bytes of memory location is free, that memory will be allocated for this array A of 10. Suppose, if you are considering here, starting memory is 500 and this is 520. If you are considering in this sense, totally 20 bytes will be allocated. 500 to 520, if the continuous 20 bytes is free in this sense, memory will be allocated. For example, if 500 to 510 memory is free and 300 to 310 memory is free. If you are allocating here, we will get 10 bytes and here we will get 10 bytes. Okay. And continuously 20 bytes of memory location in memory, it is not free in the sense. It will not allocate. Okay. It will raise error only. There is no enough memory space. Likewise, it will raise error only. Wherever continuous 20 bytes of memory location is free and that memory only will be allocated. If here and there, 2 bytes, 4 bytes, if it is free in the sense, we cannot be able to combine the distributed free memories. Okay, that is not possible. So, array, if it wants to store the elements in the sense, a sequential continuous block of memory, wherever it is free, that will only we can able to allocate. That is disadvantage only because free memory is available, but not continuous in the sense, we cannot be able to allocate for arrays. Next, declared array size will either be lesser or wasted. Suppose, if I have declared int A of 20, okay, so 20 memory locations I have allocated because I don't know the size of the array, how many elements I am going to store, I am not sure about the size. So, for safer side, I have allocated 20 memory locations, but I have used only 5 elements. I have stored only 5 elements from A of 0 to A of 4. I have stored only 5 elements in the sense what will happen? Remaining 15 memory locations, whatever we have allocated, that is wasted only. That memory will not be used for other variables or other programs also. Because it is allocated for this array. Okay. Whether we are using or not, it will not be allocated for other variables or arrays. Okay. So, here memory is wasted. Sometimes, sir. If I don't want to waste the memory, I am going to store only 5 elements, I think. Okay. So, I have declared array as A of 5. Okay. So, during execution, I want to store 6 elements. It is not possible because I have declared only 5 memory locations to store the elements. If I want to store 1 extra element, that is not possible. So, in this case, memory will be wasted. In this case, memory is lesser. Okay. So, this is one big disadvantage. Next step. Size of the array specified at the time of creation cannot be altered. Okay. That is, if I have declared the array int a of 10. Okay. During execution, I want some 15 memory locations in the sense. I cannot able to alter the size because I have declared only 10 memory locations. So, its size 
we cannot able to alter during execution this is another disadvantage and uh, next difficult to insert or delete an element between two existing elements that is if i have allocated the array of 10 memory locations that is i have declared int a of 10 okay so totally 10 memory locations of integer data type is allocated okay so array name is a I have allocated and here I have stored the values also some values I have stored also suppose in this position I want to insert some value that is not possible there is no procedure to insert an element into the array and if I want to delete the in between element if I want to delete it in the sense that is also not possible I can reinitialize here as zero that is possible but I cannot able to delete the element directly that is not possible okay so difficult to insert or delete an element between two existing elements that is difficult and there is no warning message if entered array element exceeds the array size okay suppose if i have declared the array int a of 3 okay only three memory locations i have allocated okay and i have initialized the values also 5 10 15. Only three memory locations I have allocated here. Suppose during initialization, an unknownly programmer has entered one extra value. Okay. It will not raise any error. Here we have allocated only three memory locations. Here we have entered four values. Okay. So what will happen here in the sense in memory location, it will allocate only three. Okay. So, this is A of 0th position, one value will be stored. So, 5 will be stored here. In order only from left to right only, it will store the elements. Arrays will store the elements. So, A of first position, it will store value 10. And A of second position, it will store value 15. Okay. But for this 20, memory is not allocated for array. Element 20 will not be stored in any memory location. It is waste only. But unknownly, if you have entered in the sense, there is no warning message. If you are entering for some 10 elements extra also, there is no warning message. But those extra elements will not be taken since we have declared the size here. Okay, that is not at all a problem. But if you have entered extra elements in the sense, there is no warning message. Okay, this is also one disadvantage. So, these are all the limitations of an array. Thank you for watching this video. 